Georgia legislator is trying to change the way the Supreme Court operates. Congressman Hank Johnson wants to place 18-year term limits on justices. As Doug Reardon reports, this would affect Justice Clarence Thomas from Georgia, who's already served for 31 years, and Chief Justice John Roberts, who hits his 18-year mark tomorrow. Really, the biggest issue facing the American Supreme Court is this one. After decades of study on the Supreme Court, Georgia State Law Professor Eric Siegel says he's discovered one thing about lifetime tenure. In a democracy, don't give government officials power for life. It's a terrible idea. That thought is shared by Georgia Democratic Representative Hank Johnson, who just last week introduced a bill that would slap 18-year term limits on justices. It's something that's been attempted before in Washington, D.C., but never successfully. Reception has been good. We caught up with Johnson in D.C. just days after he introduced the bill. For a longer term um, uh, salvaging of our democracy, uh, we need to do away with this concept of lifetime tenure for Supreme Court justices. The U.S. is one of the only nations in the world where Supreme Court justices serve for life. In fact, lifetime tenure is embedded in the Constitution. Johnson said his bill addresses that. Judges, justices would remain justices. They just would go on uh, senior status and they would be removed from handling the everyday matters that come before the court. They would be like reserve justices. They would be on the payroll. They would still be Supreme Court justices, but they would be in senior status. In the event a justice gets sick or has to recuse themselves from a case, Siegel thinks the bill's constitutionality is actually pretty solid and argues it's high time the high court changes things up. We shouldn't name our highest judges on our highest court through luck, through who, who lives and who dies. It's a crazy system. Now, Seagal notes 49 states, with the exception of Rhode Island, do enforce term limits on state Supreme Court justices.